Surrounded by dancers, waiting to go on stage, but a few minutes later, my escort had me on the stairs again at the side of the room, and we were climbing again. I must explain at this point that I have a great fear of height. I could hear music on my right, and I assumed we were almost there when my guide stopped me and pointed out a narrow catwalk that made us a way through part of the drapes, through part of the drapes. And when I looked down, there was the ballet roof in motion, arms, legs, crinoline, bits of color, like a mosaic. So I did see the ballet roof, at least in part. It was not necessarily the part I wanted, but that's what I got, and it was an experience. That's interesting. Who was this person? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it might have been Vincent. No, no, no. We never. Yeah, I think he came once to see me and wanted to see my legs. So I, I, I sort of discouraged him a little bit. <laughs> So he was an older man too, <laughs> oh. older than me. Yeah. Well, so. how did he have access to? I never knew that either. But I assumed he had some. You know, obviously he knew what he was doing. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> what a little mystery story. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I, well <laughs> older gen older gentlemen and young dancers are a cliche in ballet. You know, he he made. Well, that's true. Well, I see what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> he obviously was pick he picked you up, right? So. <laughs> can I tell you a story about ballet? Can you? It's, can it's not you tell too us long. Yet. No, go um, ahead. I knew this old lady, and she was very old. And there was this ballet master who had, who was living in Ringwood, where I was living, and he was still working part time. And he would have students come out to his house. He had a house <coughs> right across the road from this old lady's. She could look down on it because it was a hill. She could look down on his house, and all of a sudden she she did see these young girls go in there quite frequently and stay quite a long time and she had her own ideas about this ballet master <laughs> whose name was Alex something. Anyway, um, she finally noticed that he was putting up this building and it was like a block. A, 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 it, it added on to his house but it was just a, a rectangle with a cement top or something. I don't know, it was awfully ugly. And she had to look down on that when she wanted to look at the lake beyond, right? So she was enemies with this man because she thought he was uh, he was uh, mentally, um, morally, you know, reprehensible, yeah, uh, depraved. Yes, yeah. and so, uh, but she didn't very often speak to him. But she decided she had to ask him what this was. <laughs> so she said, "Mr. Dalnoff, what is that thing you're building?" Well, Mrs. Brown, he said. It's a whorehouse for ori over 80s. <laughs> <laughs> he knew he was under suspicion. Oh, yes, he did. <laughs> so well, that now was... you better just come right out and admit it. <laughs> you think that was true? Or no, was true? no, no. He was he just was teasing. He was a shock value. He, M Mabel had been, it was a he minister's was wife, teasing. had been a minister's wife, and she was very old and very proper. and. He thought, I'll fix her, you know. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't think it was true for a minute. <laughs> it reminds me of a great story. Of the, it was actually a cartoon. It shows these two bears looking down, looking down on this area of activity, and there's a sign that says, Golden Age Nudist Club. <laughs> and one, one bear is saying, well, there goes the old appetite. <laughs> I made that <laughs> My word, where did that come from? <laughs>